You're listening to the Minutes on Growth podcast, the show that brings you mindfully curated insights into relationships, spirituality, personal development, and everything in between with your host, Tanaz Hussainpour. Hi, soul friends. It's Tanaz Hussainpour, and welcome to another short solo episode of Minutes on Growth. Recently, in one of the Rumi and Shams Poetry Club sessions, we discuss one of Rumi's poems that I'd like to share with you. In it, he quotes, Some human beings are safe havens. Be companions with them. When we all read this, we felt a certain comforting and humbling feeling. You see, historically speaking, we are tribal people. We have always been part of communities. We've always been supported by communities. Communities coming together to lend a hand when you're raising children, to lend a shoulder when you're grieving, to celebrate your special moments with you. As much as self-care is important, community care is just as important. However, the type of community that we're part of is also important. We want to be part of a community where certain elements such as fear and judgment do not exist. In order to attract such a desire, we need to become embodiments of our desires first. We need to be open to creating a safe space for our friends and family to be themselves without having the fear of judgment. Creating a safe haven for them to express themselves without having the fear of rejection. A community where we strive to see the best in each other, and to amplify each other's strengths and goodness. When we are surrounded by people who see the best in us, who speak to us in love and kindness, who can see us through the compassionate lens of acceptance, we become comfortable opening our wings. They help us shed the fear of falling back down because we know we know that they'll help us try again. There's no shame anymore. Now, you might be thinking that all of this sounds good, but it's difficult to actually have it because you might be carrying this belief that people are mean or people are selfish or even people aren't supportive. If that's how you feel, then I ask you to please let go of these beliefs. But I don't want you to let it go just because I say so. But I rather want you to let it go because you want to. Because you recognize how this belief is keeping you small. So question those beliefs. Do you know with 100% certainty that your belief is true? Or is there a 1% chance that it's not true? Because if that small percentage exists, then you need to stop entertaining that belief as an objective truth. Let me tell you this. The world does have caring people. The world is filled with loving people who want to help you. You just need to believe in it. Start by trusting yourself. Look at all the goodness that exists within you. Trust your goodness. Then start to trust in the goodness of other people, the goodness of community. Remember, no one can reject you if you don't reject yourself. So step into your truth. We are our best selves when we are in supportive communities. So let us create them. Let us be part of them. Let us be open to giving and let us be open to receiving it too. Let us find and be part of communities that resonate with where we're heading on the journey to our highest self. Thank you for listening. Speak soon. Thank you for joining us this week on Minutes on Growth. If you enjoyed today's episode, then make sure you never miss a show by clicking the subscribe button now. 